Hello everyone and welcome to another very exciting video. Uh, recently we have developed this code editor. Uh, it's an online code editor uh, in the address codehoos.com codenest and we are quite proud of it. We, we think that uh, it's going to be one of the main code editors that people start using or at least we hope so. So today I thought I'm going to give you a brief introduction to how you can use it, uh, how you can start creating a new prototype and some of the features, some of the cool features that we have added to this so that you can start uh, basically utilizing all the things that we have added in the editor. So as you can see, if you go to kotos.com codenest and I'll put the link down there, uh, this is a completely fresh start. So you have options here to log in, sign up, and obviously you have three editors here, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, which you can write your code and the output will be shown down here real time. So as an example, I'm gonna put a div and this is the first test. You can see that it automatically adds everything. And if I add a CSS to this div, let's just create the background like maybe violet and maybe color white. And obviously you can add some JavaScripts as well to utilize all these three editors. The cool thing here is that each of these uh, sort of editor panes uh, have their own sort of settings. So one of the things here we have format HTML. So for example, if you have, I, I see a lot of code that uh, is not intended, indented for example. So if I put a div here test, and I forgot to put the indent, so if I go here and format HTML, it will like uh, add the indentation and kind of format the HTML for me. You also have it for the CSS and obviously you have it for JavaScript. The other cool thing is that you have settings over here. For the HTML, we have a bunch of preprocessor, POG and HAML for CSS. Uh, we added a little bit more, so you have normalize and reset base. So if I, for example, use normalize, and save the settings, you will see that the padding on the body has been moved. So basically normalize and reset in this panel does that. It basically resets every element by setting the padding and margin to zero. So uh, you can basically start adding the paddings yourself for a clear and better indication of what you want to build. And then you have auto prefixer. It basically adds all the required uh, prefixes for uh, all the, um, you know, CSS properties that need prefix for to be able to work in all the browsers. And then you have preprocessors and a bunch of libraries that we already added here, but also you can add more libraries. And ba the same thing you have for JavaScript, we've added TypeScript and Babel, so you can basically write either in TypeScript or Babel, and that would be, be uh, generating your JavaScript for you. So uh, let's say I want to use uh, SCSS, which is a newer version of SAS. Uh, let's save it. Here you're going to see that it's already generated. And in this case, if I start coding in that particular SCSS format, which is like this, div and then background red, uh, you will see that it automatically runs it for me and if I want to see the generated uh, CSS you can always click here and view compiled CSS so you can see that this is what the final CSS looks like right so one thing you can do you don't need to sign up for this you can obviously save it and then it uh, saves it for you and you can you know continue coding but it's uh, though here uh, I've already signed signed in in this editor uh, so you can continue saving without sign up or you can basically uh, go to the sign up page. We have three options. Two of them is not active yet, which is enthusiasts and corporate, but you can go ahead for with free. We have unlimited number of prototypes, five private pro prototypes. So you can basically uh, make it so that others cannot see it. For example, if your prototype is not ready, and finalize, you want to set it to private for a while, you're going to have global exposure and get views and followers. And this particular one uh, will be with ads, though the ads that we put on our website, they're, they're not really uh, obstructing anything. So you can click on join now, and there is a form which you enter your email address, username, full name, password, and confirm password, and then you sign up, right? 
So that's how it works. Uh, the other option we recently added is the explore button here. If you click on the explore, you're going to go to this page, which you have inspirations, hot, neoest, and most like. So as you can see, there are a bunch of things that people started creating. Uh, uh, and well, one of the things you have is the number of views and likes. One of the cool things on this like is that if you're logged in, uh, there is a cool animation on it, so maybe you want to try it. So you have hot over here as well, uh, and hot we mean that you know it has the most number of viewers. We have newest uh, codes and then most liked. So for example, you can take a look at this check background that is done by uh, our user Love Coding. Uh, it's pretty cool. And then one thing we added, you can always fork this and start, you know, doing other stuff with it, maybe changing the code a little bit so that it's in your taste. And then the other thing is that you can obviously view it in full screen. Uh, going back, uh, you have this brilliant view, activity view. When you click on it, you have the ability to see a bunch of uh, stuff. You can follow uh, this uh, user, love coding, if you enjoy it you know, the codes, uh, prototypes, and you can add comments, right? So down here, if you're yet, if you're registered, uh, you can add comment. If not, you know, it pops up this uh, dialogue for you to register. You obviously have the option to share this through Facebook and Twitter, and you can also export to a single file or a folder structure for the code that is generated, right? The other thing is that you, we added this cool search functionality here. So for example, if I search for, let's say, CSS, uh, you just type CSS and press enter, you're going to get some uh, information or some, some prototypes that you can see. Uh, the other thing you can do is, uh, well, you can also search, let's search for something uh, that makes more sense. For example, let's search for navigation, right? So you can see two, co two prototypes have been created for navigation. Uh, let's type vertical. And you're going to see some of the tutorials that we have our, uh, in our YouTube channel. Uh, you can see the code here. You can also switch the layout uh, to have a bigger space for the view output. Uh, you can make it private or not. You have some settings to show the line numbers or not uh, and enable code wrapping. Uh, and obviously, everybody has a profile page. So this is the profile page for our users, some of the tests that we do. You can go ahead and check out some of these uh, cool stuff. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. One request I have is that please start signing up and do it. This is in a beta mode, so it's not finalized. You're going to see maybe some bugs. Please report them. The way you want to report them is very easy. You can either just send an email to kotus.com, kotus at kotus.com, or, you know, in any of these pages, we have this contact support. You can enter, you know, whatever you want and then go back, enter your email address and we're going to receive your feedback. So this was a pretty short introduction to how this code works. In the next couple of tutorials, I'm going to start utilizing this code editor. One of the first things that I'm going to show is how to, you can uh, basically animate uh, SVG. So stay tuned, sign up in this um, editor and help us uh, create this amazing community where we can share our uh, web and front end knowledge. I wish you a very good day and night and see you next time. Bye.